what that sound means. We're back. back with a swift crack of a revelry brew. My you, favorite drink of the day. The Hotel Rondes Booze is my favorite. It's a very it's wheat. Yeah, that's with the wheat. It's just a, it's an all-day sipper. It's an all-day sipper, yeah. <laughs> I go with it's, the gull if I'm all-day sipping. It's hard to find a craft beer that's an all-day sipper. Yeah. Anyways, we're back. But if you're if you're happy to see us, hit that little like button down there. Yeah, if you're a first timer, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and, and let us know that you're uh, liking what we're saying, or maybe you dislike what we're saying and you want to follow along to give us the thumbs down. Go ahead and subscribe anyway. Or even better than a thumbs down is exhibit your hate down in the comments below. Boom, right under there, or love, either one. Right, more well, love. But if you want to hate, hate. I mean, that's. I used to really hate the hate, but now I don't mind it. You know, just hit me ball. with a comment. Hate, 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 hate. hate. Yeah. let's roll. <laughs> Some some recent, uh, they were the police were hating on Kareem Hunt is yep. why we're here. Yeah, yeah. And we think there was a so, social injustice. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but he had a little blunder. This may leave a window open to get Kareem at maybe even a lower price here. Well, the window was already open. It just it just opened a little further. Smoke right. bellows out. A little little smoke bellowing out. Got got in trouble with the with the law for speeding and had some uh, marijuana possession a small, small amounts amount. didn't 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 get hit on the sheet with it but had several different off. kinds yeah, a little gangsta gumbo likes to keep his uh tolerance <laughs> guessing <laughs> just like uh defenders you know sure an elusive guy that kareem hunt <laughs> for real though for real real elusive though so like th- we're just gonna make this short and sweet here we wanted to just come out and say like we've all we've been on record a lot saying all about getting some Kareem Hunt, and I think he just got a little cheaper. And if you look at some of the numbers, going from weeks 10 to 17, mm-hmm. which is the weeks that he played, obviously he had the eight-game suspension. He was 13th in avoided tackles with 19 uh, on rushes. But all 12 guys in front of him had more than double his attempts, mm-hmm. right? That's a pretty staggering number. Uh, Christian McCaffrey was the only guy with more evaded tackles after a reception, Kareem, uh, Kareem Hunt had 15, CMC had 16, but Kareem did it on 37 receptions versus 74 for Christian McCaffrey during that same time frame. Right. So my man's breaking mad say, tackles. That's pretty decent. Ma- mad tackles. But this is why we've been, you know, last year in the offseason telling you to buy Hunt even though it was going to be a, a, a long wait. Um, and, and now I'm, I'm doubling down. Go ahead and get Hunt Absolutely. again. Absolutely. For that, that, that's a very nice stat you just pointed out there, Jay Wayne. And you mentioned the elusiveness; like he was first overall with the elusive rating on players with more than fifty-five touches right. over the span of the time he played. So no one's evading more tackles than my man Kareem Hunt. Right, and I mean, obviously he had one of the better up-and-coming running backs. Or he's he's here now, but Nick Chubb in front of him, and is still had a nice fantasy upside when he was in there. Yeah, for, for most weeks he was averaging somewhere around thirteen. Uh, 13 points or 14 game. points a game. I don't have the number in front of me right now, but had a down week 17, I think, and and uh, once the Browns were, were tapering off there. But for the most part, was very startable uh, week in, week out, even with a, a workhorse in front of him. And now right. you have uh, the guy who brought him in, Dorsey, is out the door for the Browns organization. So, you know, they could uh, – they're saying he needs to – get his act together and, and, and basically be good to kind of stay around. And I think he might have one foot out the door already, but this is a really talented player. Um, and I think he could really help your fantasy team. And after this little r- run in with the law, probably got a little lower on the uh, totem pole of, of well, do you think he'll get in any trouble? I don't, I don't think so because of the fa- like if he failed no in, charges, right. That's the big thing. He didn't actually get popped with, possession of marijuana right. that was kind of left just off the sheet as on he, record saying that right. he would have failed a drug right. test as long as he doesn't fail a drug test in the nfl he's he's probably just fine which which he hasn't before he, he has he hasn't he's been fine um and he'll probably get tested more than the one annual right everybody knows this is the date we're getting tested yeah date. but I've, I've heard from a lot of players that as long as you're not an idiot it's it's kind of hard to get popped for weed or or something like this where you if if he would have gotten if he would have got stopped with an ounce of weed and right got some uh, got some charges actually on there some Alex Collins right type deal then you have to do something but right for now I think the the windows uh, even bigger on trying to swoop in and, and buy a guy like Kareem Hunt absolutely um, for you know there's a couple examples out there of of, of what to buy him for I mean I, I would definitely trade a second yeah for him right now all day for sure. Um, I would probably even 
possibly trade a low end first, maybe try to push it to a 2021 low end first. But mm-hmm. I, th- I think this guy's uh, one of the better talents at running back in the league. And as long as he doesn't do anything real stupid. Um, and I think, I think he's kind of wrapped his head around that. Hey, don't do anything. This Chiefs just won the see. That's what he said when he got pulled over. Like he was super bummed out that, that he wasn't playing in the Super Bowl and right. all this other stuff. So I think he's kind of got it together. I think this is a really good talent. I think there's a, a decent chance he's on another team as a featured guy. And even worst case scenario, he stays on the Browns and uh, stays, you know, relevant and is the best as backup. your RB2 on, on and, your and a, a game and a winning, a, a league winning handcuff, handcuff right. if, if something were to happen to Nick Chubb. We had a, a Patreon question where uh, this week that we're gonna we're, we're making this little YouTube video. We're about to jump over and do a full patron show. Uh, the guy was asking DJ, Ch- would you trade DJ Chark to get Kareem Hunt? Yeah, I would. G. But so right now the, the ADP situation, like DJ Chark's like way up in like the 30s. thirty something. So you probably don't have to straight up trade Kareem. Kirk's, Kareem's down in the eighties right now but th- i mean that's that's january adp right and cream one just got popped all the leagues are different so and this, everybody's you know, idea of where player values are different and, and every league tailed off he did know? tail off but i personally would i would try to probably leverage as how good chark was and how young he is and how fast he is and this and that i i would probably try to more i would do it straight up if i had to but i think you could leverage more than uh that out of chark not that i was definitely a chark hater you can't hate on chark for what he was doing Mm -hmm. in season he was looking really good but i i'm a i'm a running back guy i think i think hunt's a a great player and if he was the lead back just think of what he could be averaging after that those stats you've listed off about evaded tackles and and this and that is it just Shows you what kind of a player this guy is. And, and the fact that he was averaging 12 to 14 points every week. Every week. Right. So worst case, as a backup. you've got an RB2, and there's room for so much more for it to really just pay right. mad dividends for you. So, Right. The stats are good. The tape's good. Holler at Kareem Hunt. Results. Track record's there. All right. Well, uh, that'll do it for our little discussion today. Uh, if you like what you heard, hit us up in the comments below. Like we said. Give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe, like. And uh, head over to patreon.com slash the FF Dynasty if you're looking for some more content. And we'll get your direct questions answered and have a good time over there. Thanks for listening, everybody. Peace.